so when, when we're thinking about uh, picking a mentor and, and looking for somebody to, to emulate, what kind of qualities is it, are, are there that you look for when you pick a mentor? When um, you, you are searching online, maybe you're searching within your company or it's a teacher, what kind of qualities should you really look for? Is there something that stands out more than others? Um, what, do you, what do you think, Heather? Um, for me, I, I've just been lucky to, to stumble upon mentors. Uh, they just, like, it's in my daily life. Like, I will find someone that uh, is just the perfect person at the perfect time. But when, when people are asking me to be their mentor, they seem to find me uh, either they'll see a video that I've done, or they'll read an article that I've written, or, a or come to a class that I teach. Um, so I think when you're looking for a mentor, it's, it's the same kind of thing. Like, if, if you read an article that someone's written, and it really resonates with you, go ahead and contact the author. Um, a lot of times, like, they'll write back. Uh, I read an article the other day about someone who contacted the author of a comic strip that they've loved forever, and this is a very famous comic uh, strip, and they were very surprised, but the person wrote back and they were like, wow, no one ever writes to me. <laughs> like, amazingly, like this guy who's super famous, no one ever writes to him, he, and now they're, they're friends, like he, he's teaching him how to be a better uh, comic strip artist. So. Take the chance, ask somebody for assistance. If, if it resonates with you, the person will appreciate it. So 